A wide variety of banks that pretty much covers all the major banks, paying as much as $125 million a piece to as low as $10 million a piece. Give us, put this in context for the time frame, because a lot of people thought this was just about the pandemic, but some of this investigation goes all the way back to 2018, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. This certainly goes further yeah. back, and really more than the pandemic, it has to do with the profusion of all these messaging apps. We call it, we dub it the WhatsApp probe, but effectively this means any unauthorized messaging app. It could be WhatsApp, it could be Signal, it could be Telegram, and all these apps have exploded in popularity in the last few years. It's not surprising that bankers and traders would use these apps. You would use email with great frequency. That has died down to some extent, then mm -hmm. people move to apps. But regulators are not happy with that. They want to make sure that they're able to track every single message you are sending out mm -hmm. there that has to do with your business. And that's why this unprecedented action today. Fines come, future behavior changes we already know occur has to. We already have examples in the order today and just digesting some of the information out from the SEC. For instance, they talk about a managing director at Goldman Sachs in the investment banking decision, supposed division, supposed to be monitoring and supervising a number of junior employees, but that individual was using apps like WhatsApp or Signal, something to that effect, to talk about firm-related business. The SEC is pointing out that's just a no-no. You can't do that. So they're all cracking down. We know all these banks have sent out fresh messages to their employees basically saying, cut it out. We do not want anything related to firm business being discussed on these apps. So much so that a banker told us yesterday their latest instructions are, even if you want to tell a colleague that you want to meet them downstairs in 10 minutes, do not WhatsApp it. We only have about 45 seconds or so. Do you consider this a win for regulators? Absolutely. And here's the context. For a matter like this, which effectively is a record-keeping matter, right? They're just saying, we want to make sure you're able to monitor this kind of information. The previous highest fine individual case was a Morgan Stanley incident back in 2006, $15, $15 million, one five. Today's action across these banks and the JP Morgan action from a few months ago takes this total to $2 billion. That is a historic amount.